Hey everybody, it's Kelly from My Soulful Home. Today we're gonna to talk about balancing a room. Balance in a room is a really important design concept that you should grasp in order to create some calm and peace and a nice flow in your room. So if you're feeling like your room is just like a little off, but everything seems to be good, all the elements seem to be good, your balance might be off. So, and there's some really easy fixes for that. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So when we're talking about balance, there's three things you really should keep in mind. So it's visual weight, and then it is symmetry, and building up and out from the main pieces of furniture. If you incorporate those three elements and you really think about them in your room, um, then you can create balance. Okay, so let's talk about those three concepts we just discussed. So visual weight, well, what is that? It's the weight that your eyes would give a piece of furniture or an object in your room. So a picture a big sofa that has fabric that goes to the ground and it's in a dark color and it's oversized or it's a sectional even. That item is gonna have a lot of visual weight. And then imagine a dainty little side table that's pretty much all legs and that's just a little bit of a horizontal surface. That is light visual weight or low visual weight. So you want a balance of those things, those two aspects of visual weight in your room. You certainly don't want everything to be big and brown and heavy and go to the ground and be all either fabric or wood or metal, things like that. That's going to really be too heavy if everything's like that. On the other hand, you don't want everything sort of light and floaty where it just has these dainty little legs touching the ground. So you want a nice balance of those two aspects in your room. Okay, so we're in my living room today, and I do have a lot of furniture that has legs in here. So it tends to be lighter in visual weight, but I have dark wood floors, which also count, and I have three layered carpets, which also add some weight to it. Uh, I do have an area that I'm working on with regard to balance, and it's a side table, which is on the other side of this sofa. And while I love it, I think next to the sofa, it is too light in the visual weight department. So I'm looking for something lower and something more solid, maybe sort of like a drum shape. So I'm working on balance in this room as well. And if anybody has listened to the podcast or read my blog, you know I've been working on balancing both ends of this room because it's a very long, narrow room. So I had to not only balance the one area, but I had to balance the, the length of the room. What was going on in one end needed to be equal in weight to what was going on in this end. So while I'm still tweaking the balance in this room, I think I really nailed the symmetry. And symmetry, as you all know, is something that is uh, symmetrical, <laughs> that it's equal on either side, and that's very pleasing to the eye. What you may not know is that asymmetry is not really the opposite of symmetry, it's a type of symmetry. So it's just throwing things off a little bit. In, in decor and decorating, using some asymmetry in just little uh, doses here and there can really create interest in a room. So I'm going to talk about how I did that in here, but first let's talk about the symmetry. So here I sit on the sofa, and on either side of the sofa are two Brugere chairs. They're bigger chairs, um, not overstuffed, but they definitely have a nice size to them, and they really balance with the sofa. And because there's one on either side, obviously they balance with each other. And then I have some um, a set of nesting tables, which I've broken up. So there's two on one side and one on the other side. So the big one and then the medium and the small one are on the other side. That also creating some nice symmetry. And um, I toss it off a little bit and create the asymmetry really with accessories. And I think that's a great way to do that. Um, so I have a throw over the arm of one of them. I like to have my, my pillows match on the chairs, but adding the throw on one side just throws it off just enough. Just like putting a throw on the one side of the sofa does the same thing. I mean, you probably wouldn't have two throws of the same type anyway on either side of the sofa. And um, that is just a little tweak that needs to add a little interest. One last note about symmetry before we talk about going up and out. Lots of times you're gonna build your symmetry around the focal point in the room. My room is so sort of oddly shaped and then it's a really long, thin rectangle. 
I have not necessarily built the symmetry around my mantle, which would be the normal focal point in a living room. Um, we'll show you over there and you'll see that it's rather asymmetrical except for what's going on on the top of the mantle. And that's where I've employed some symmetry there to sort of be able to give that calm and give your eye a rest. You, you're really not processing it. Um, your mind is not saying, oh, I feel calm because I'm looking at three candlesticks on one side and three candlesticks on the other side. It's all subliminal, but it really does add to a sense of peace when there's symmetry in the room. And symmetry is the predominant aspect in the room. So, okay, moving on to going up and going out. So lots of times people, you know, they decorate on this plane sort of, you know, along the eye level or the sofa level, and nothing goes up. So you really need to think about that, particularly if you have one tall piece or even a tall plant in a room, you wanna balance that with something tall on the other side. So what I ended up doing here, because we have this large china cabinet that almost looks like a built-in, it's over in this corner, the sofa, and it's tall, I mean, it goes pretty high into the ceiling. And then we also have this ceiling, sort of you know, rail, like a molding around, which um, I've painted a different color so to bring your eye up. So we have some height on one side in the room and then the paint going all around. The other side needed something tall and something to bring your eye up. So that's where I did those wallpaper panels. I've talked about those on my blog and you're gonna see those here. So they are long, thin panels that I created and I just dropped in some wallpaper and you can change those out. They're really a great economical way to get some real wow in a room and also to get that height to so going up. So those in this side of the room balance with the large, tall china cabinet on this side. So it's not only symmetry, but it's taking your eye up, which really makes the room have nice balance. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and thank you so much for everybody who has um, told me they enjoyed the YouTube videos and left comments on the other videos. I so appreciate it. It's great to hear that you're enjoying them. We are having so much fun making these, so we're planning several more to come your way. Uh, so thanks for watching t this one today about balance. I hope that that helps you if you're feeling like your room's a little off. Go in there and think about what we talked about today and see if maybe balance is the issue and now you know how to fix it. And if you're enjoying the YouTube videos, then subscribe and they'll come right to you. Thanks, bye.